Here, I'm going to introduce you to Compressor. For this, I'm going to use this Final Cut Pro sequence that I want to compress to a video that should play on an iPhone and another version that should be uploaded to a web server. In this case, it will allow me to introduce you to the basic workflow of Compressor and also it will allow me to show you how you can take a sequence and how you can send it to Compressor for further processing over there. So never mind about the details of what I'm doing here. The important thing is to sort of uh, uh, get the whole overall concept. The first thing that I'm doing is taking my sequence over to Compressor for compression. And here we go. As you can see, the sequence has been added uh, at the top of the window here. This window is my batch window. And in the project window, you get to see the videos that you're going to be compressing, as well as, as you can see here, the settings that it's going to be used for the compression. Now for those settings down below, in the settings window there is uh, a bunch of folders that contain pre-existing settings that come with compressor or you can make your own. In this case I'm just going to go with some of the pre-made settings that Apple has included. So I say that I want to make a version for an iPhone. So here we go, I'll go with this one which is a little bit higher resolution. So it's an H.264 for iPod video and iPhone. And I'm just going to grab that setting and attach it to my movie. I also said that I wanted to make a web version. So let me go into this other folder here. Scroll down. Web. Then download. QuickTime 7 compatible. Again, never mind so much about the details here. The important thing is that I'm just grabbing a setting and then applying it to the movie that I want to compress. Now that I have applied a couple of settings, then I can submit the batch. Now the concept of submitting, it's an interesting one because in fact Compressor is not just one application. Compression is a system which uses the Compressor application, which is where we are right now, as well as other services like uh, uh, the Batch Monitor, which is an application that is used to visualize the way the computer is actually compressing the videos. So when you press on the submit button, let me just submit my batch for compressing. Then it takes the contents of the batch and sends that over to compression for the system, in this case the computer, to compress the files. So as you can see here, let me just expand. It's compressing the movie. If we open up the batch monitor, we select our computer. This is another part of the compressor system. This is a different application. It's called the Batch Monitor. And in this case, we can see with more detail the movie that we're compressing with the different settings, as well as the progress. So the Batch Monitor, the only thing that it does, it's just a visualization tool to see where our compression is in relationship to everything that we have sent for compressing, uh, in this case, for this particular computer. So I'm going to close the batch monitor. And as you can see, you can also visualize the overall progress in Compressor.